I gotta rent. I gotta, I gotta rent. I gotta fucking rent, man. Excuse my language. If you're easily triggered by foul language, don't watch this video because I'm about to go off. I gotta rent in this motherfucking video, man. So, I put up the video about the guy, uh, uh, the listing appointment in Brooklyn, right? So, the situation is, it's, it's a divorce situation. They're getting a divorce, right? Hey, yo, this is, yo, this. Uh, uh. Oh, damn. I thought it was going to play. <laughs> All right. So it's a divorce situation where they get a divorce. They have to sell the marital asset. It's the family house. I met the lady door knocking August, July last year, last year and uh, summer, fall of last year. The guy she initially wanted to go with, he passed away. He must have been like 80 something. And he's He was in a business for a while. So he passed away. So I met with Miss Hastings first and, and, uh, Introduced myself to her, sat down with her. She liked me. She wanted to pick, uh, choose me. <sighs> Unfortunately, in these situations, especially in divorce situations, it's tricky because one spouse is always going to want something. And then if it's like if you're with one spouse, the other spouse thinks and then, you know, so I knew automatically like, all right, this is probably not going to work for me because at the end of the day, if one spouse wants something and the other spouse in this divorce situation, or it, it always gets messy. It always gets fucking messy. So I was hopeful that I get it, but then I was just like, uh-uh, we'll see. Because this guy's a piece of I won't call him a piece of shit, but he's 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 fucking retarded. So uh, you know, I, I was confident that I'd get it because yo, I came in hard. Dressed in suit, pause, no diddy. I came in like dressed in the suit, presented uh presented very well. I had my laptop, information, numbers, references. He wanted three references, I gave him ten. <laughs> okay, that's how that's how I gave it up. And he called them too. People don't usually actually call the references. He actually called the references. So everybody, great things about me. Again, 10 people, okay? So, um, and I have the history to show I've sold houses in the past. I've sold houses this year. I have experience. I'm in this motherfucker, right? So uh, did all of that, presented all of that. So basically, the next, the, I was the first guy to get interviewed. After the, the next two weeks leading up to now, two, three weeks leading up to now, they've had to interview two, three, four other people, right? Because he's not just gonna go with the first one. He's gonna interview some people. So, um, they interview like maybe two to three other people. Cause I just got off the phone with the wife, the ex-wife, and you know, just to get an update on, on things. Cause I called her last week, I've been calling her weekly. I called her last week and actually I'm gonna call the husband as soon as I get to the, to the smoothie spot. Um, I called her last week. She said, oh, you still got a, another person or two to interview. I'm like, okay, no problem. So I call her again today. She's like, oh, we interviewed two more people. Basically, she wants to still go with me, but he, he wants to go with other people. He wants to go with other people because he only wants to give me 120 days instead of 180. I'm just going to go with 120 days. We'll see what happens. He also, um, oh, she's cute. He also wanted to, uh, I didn't know that I asked for 5%. The others are asking for 4%. If he would have said 4%, I would have done the 4%. But he said, I, I put at five and nobody complains. So I'm like, all right, no problem. So I'm going to tell him I'll do that 120 days and I'll do 4%. We'll see what happens. But the, the, the whole gist about this conversation is that the guy wants to hire the fucking Asians. <laughs> like the missus said that he wants to hire the Asian person, the Asian, the Asian. And what's funny is that number one, they're out in Staten Island. They're not from the area. They're not even from Brooklyn. They haven't sold any houses this year. He's not a listing agent. He's a buyer's agent, okay? And there's a difference. If you're in real estate, you know, there's a difference between a buyer's agent. You just open a door and look up houses. And there's a difference between you're a listing agent. You got to go out here and hustle. You got to prospect. You got to follow up. You got to build relationships. You got to present. You got to you gotta sell them, ne negotiate. You got to market. The, the, the list of job duties from a listing and a buyer's agent is two fucking different things. Which is why when people put agents in the same category, you obviously don't know what the fuck you're talking about. Because those skill sets are two different things. So they're buyer's agents, not even listing agents, okay? So, I mean, and there's other, there's a whole bunch of other things. They didn't show up professional. They did not show up professional, okay? They show, yo, she said they showed up. Asian folks, they showed up in a motherfucking tank top or something like that and shorts. No business cards, no numbers, no references, haven't sold any houses. 
this is who the husband wants to go with. I don't know who they are. I don't know child, something like that, but Chen or whatever. But the, it was it was just mind blowing to me. This man at the at the table when I was sitting with him, he would not go below eight fifty. Not go below eight fifty. Every other broker that came in stated that your house is not worth eight fifty. Now he's willing to go to seven fifty. Now he's willing to go eight hundred. Let me tell you, he would not go below eight fifty. He yo, not even to be negotiable. He said no, I will not. Everybody else. He's willing to be negotiable now. It's so pathetic. And again, I'm not even mad because at the end of the day, it's your fucking house. You got a two family that needs work in Brooklyn. You're gonna, you're gonna, you, at the end of the day, you're gonna attract a whole bunch of investors who wanna buy your property below market because it needs a whole bunch of fucking work. So you gotta make sure whoever you hire is gonna be on it to say, no, fuck that. We want the highest price possible. Because I promise you, when you have a deal, yo, when you have a deal, and you don't, and, and, and you're broke as an agent, you have 15, 20 people offering you all types of shit for this property, okay? And you gotta be on point to be like, nah, fuck that. Which is why with Pugsley, Pugsley, I'm taking three and a half percent. And I'm giving, what the fuck is you niggas doing, yo? Fucking ass wipes. Anyway, which is why on Pugsley, I'm taking three and a half percent and I'm giving one percent. Because I know this is such a strong house that offers, so I was like, to, to protect, the seller, I'm gonna make sure I'm good and not overdo it. Okay, that's why I'm taking three and a half percent pucks. That's why I was gonna take five percent for this one. I mean, well, take three and give two for this one in Brooklyn because I'm like, yo, I know the activity we're gonna get on this. If this is not, dude is wearing a red flag. I'm like, niggas still banging out here? <laughs> niggas, niggas are still gang banging out here in 2074? <laughs> okay, <laughs> anyway. So that, that, that's the situation. Basically, he wants to go with the Asian agent who, no references, no sales, no nothing. No nothing. None of the agents he interviewed sold any houses this year, last year. She said that the agent, the other agent that they're, they're, they're going in between on because they want to do 2% or whatever or 4%. The last house they sold was in 29 fucking team. <laughs> it's 2024. If you didn't sell no houses due to pandemic, that means you suck. Because you can literally walk down a fucking block and people are like, yo, sell, I wanna buy, sell, buy, sell, buy. And I'm not, I'm not shit on anybody, it's just like, this is the dumb shit you gotta deal with with, with, with our people. Because that Asian person would not have shown up like that to a white family's house. Or another Asian person's house. Or an Indian person's house. But to your black ass, they'll do it. And this ain't no no racist shit. Tuck your feelings back in your fucking panties. This is fucking business. And I've seen this shit for the last 10 fucking years as the whites, the Asians, the Indians, and everybody else, everybody else comes through in our neighborhoods, in our communities, in our houses, not giving their 100, not doing their 100, not being 100. But they get away with it because they're Asian, because they're Indian, or whatever the fuck else. It is disgusting and it's pathetic, which is why on a 90 degree day, I show up in a fucking suit to doorknob. It's pathetic. Later.